it's Lizzie. Today I'm going to do a grocery haul to show you guys how I eat and I have so much food just because when I go grocery shopping it's rare and I stock up so that I can stay home and not be in public. What types of foods I eat as a high carb vegan. I made an Instagram post recently talking about health and weight loss and how there is so much stigma in our society against eating healthy carbs and whole grains. So I want to get rid of that and show how to maintain a slim physique and a healthy body long term in a way that is sustainable and healthy. And of course, enough protein, enough fiber, vitamins, minerals. So I have a giant reusable bag that I use when I go grocery shopping just because in California, you actually have to pay for bags. But even when I'm traveling to different states, I always make sure to have a sustainable bag so I don't have to waste plastic or paper. So I highly recommend getting something that's really cute. My dad got me this for Christmas and it's so sturdy. I can put all my groceries in it. So I'm obsessed. So starting off for breakfast, I usually make smoothies. This is gonna be absurd to a lot of people, but I get a ton of bananas. And then I also put frozen berries in my smoothies. So I have frozen blueberries and frozen mango. I have frozen raspberry in the fridge as well. It's so good. Then I always have almond milk. I've been doing regular almond milk, unsweetened, and then chocolate almond milk is so good too. So I use these in my smoothies and I also just drink them. I have more almond milk in the fridge as well, but it's so important because there's more calcium than dairy's milk in almond milk and most plant-based milk. So they infuse them with things like vitamin D, iron, vitamin A, magnesium, calcium, potassium, vitamin E. They just put like a ton of really healthy things in them. And also if I ever make oatmeal, I use almond milk as well. And then I already had these, but I have chia seeds and flax seeds are so important. I blend them in my smoothies and I bake with them and I put them in my oatmeal. These are the types of oats I use. They're from Trader Joe's. They're just regular whole grain, 100% whole grain oats, rolled oats. Make sure to not get the instant oatmeal that has sugar and stuff in it because they strip out the fiber from the oats so it's not even healthy. So definitely just get regular oats. I may, might make another what I eat in a day soon, but when I make my oatmeal, I smash in a banana and then mix it with the oats and then put in chia seeds or flax seeds and frozen blueberries and sometimes walnuts or something on top and then almond butter on top as well. And I also blend a tablespoon of almond butter in my smoothies and they're so good. So now we're going to go into produce of the vegetables that I like and then we're gonna do protein and grains. So starting off, I have tomatoes. I get the little grape tomatoes and actually no, these are a fruit. So I'm still doing fruit haul. So I love chopping up cherry tomatoes into tacos, burritos, pasta, pizza. There's so many different ingredients. If you wanna know how to make my meat lovers vegan loaded pizza, I'll link that video below, my what I eat in a day. Then I love avocado so much. I put them on my burgers, tacos, burritos, even just for a snack, eating an avocado. They are so delicious. Then I love bell pepper. I also cut them up into pasta and burrito and taco. So the types of foods I eat are very repetitive, I guess, but they're so good. Then I have carrots and celery, a really good snack is carrots and celery with hummus, but I also love to take both of these together, season them with olive oil, salt, garlic, and bake in the oven for 25 minutes. So good, such a great side dish to anything that you're making. And then the biggest vegetable container I got is potatoes. Russet potatoes are so healthy. A lot of people think only sweet potato are healthy, but if you get russet potatoes, I cut them up and I make fries with them, homemade fries. Do not take off the skin. So I make baked potatoes, fries are my favorite. Also breakfast potatoes, mashed potatoes. There's so many things. Potatoes are a root vegetable. So then the type of grains that I get, I absolutely love the sandwich thins. They are 100% whole wheat. 
They have 4 grams of fiber, 6 grams of protein. I use these with the burgers I make, the veggie burgers, which I'm going to show you in a second. And then I also just got pumpernickel bread and rye bread that also have a lot of fiber and protein in them. And I just love snacking on bread so much and making sandwiches and making burgers and putting almond butter on them and as a side with oatmeal there's so many different ways to eat bread always make sure to get 100 percent whole wheat so you get the full fiber if you get white rice potatoes with the skin off, juice without the entire fruit, white noodles, white bread, there's no fiber in it, so you're not gonna be full, and then you're gonna be eating way more food than you need, whereas if you just had the fiber in it, and the full fruit, and the full oats without processed, if you, need, if you eat non-processed food, it's going to fill you up faster, and then you won't overeat. So if you wanna maintain a slim physique and lose weight, you have to eat the full whole grains with the fiber count. So always check the fiber count, make sure it's like four or five grams of fiber. If it's like one gram of fiber, then don't buy it. So next, something else I use as a snack, or if I'm making Indian food or falafel, hummus is so yummy, it's a great snack. I put celery and carrots and I just snack on hummus, also bread with hummus, it's so good. So I actually got two giant things of like extra large hummus at the store. So now we're going to go into my fake meat and protein and more vegan-like products that I really recommend. So starting off, these are the Trader Joe's Quinoa Cowboy with Black Bean and Roasted Corn Veggie Burgers. They are amazing. I love making these with the chow vegan cheese and then two slices of pumpernickel bread. It's so good. And also, I put avocado and tomato in my burgers as well. So then some other burgers that I really recommend, Morningstar, they were actually out of my favorite kind, which are the Morningstar Black Bean Burgers. These are the Griller Prime, so I'm going to try them for the first time. We'll see if I like them, but Morningstar has such good burgers. And then I recently discovered and tried out the Beyond Burger, which is so good. I also put chow cheese, which I'll actually show you real quick. This is the Chow Vegan Cheese. This one is the Creamy Original, which is like a mozzarella or provolone. It's so good. So I put this on my burgers and then with the Beyond Burger and then bread and then I put in avocado and tomato and it's such a good lunch. So then other vegan products, this is already opened. It's the Miyoko's Mozzarella Vegan Cheese. It's so amazing, so good. I literally just like take pieces off of it and snack on it. It's that good. More fake meat. So, oh my gosh, this is a new meal I discovered. So it's the Gardein Fishless Filets. So cook these in the oven following the directions. I cook two of them. And then I make fries with my reset potatoes and it's literally vegan fish and chips and it tastes like real fish. I mean, I haven't had real fish in a while, but I think it really, really does because I had fish my whole life. So fish and chips with the Gardein fishless filets. It's so good. And then I also, oh, I also got some frozen vegetables. So this is a medley of broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, corn, and pepper. But I also just love frozen broccoli and fresh broccoli as well. I didn't get any fresh broccoli this time because I have a lot of frozen veggies in the freezer. And then this Morningstar Veggie Meal Starter Grillers Crumbles. So they're like ground beef crumbles and I use these for burritos and tacos. Tacos, it's so good. And also if you make loaded baked potatoes, you can season them. I usually season these with taco seasoning, but you can also just cut up fresh garlic and then salt, pepper, and season them. For spaghetti, baked potatoes, burritos, tacos, so. Anything you would normally make with ground beef, these are bomb. I like them so much more than the Guardian meatballs even, although those are pretty good as well. So then some other things I do for protein. I love eating beans. So I have garbanzo beans, black beans, and pinto beans. I use these in tacos, burritos. You can make homemade falafel with garbanzo beans. I also make vegan tuna salad. You heat up and then crush up garbanzo beans. You mix them with veganaise, which is vegan mayonnaise, which I've been told is better than regular mayonnaise. I've never tried regular mayonnaise. I think it's disgusting, but the vegan kind is really good. So vegan tuna. 
And then also, these are already open, but the Tofurky plant-based original sausage Italian are so good. And I use these in pasta as well. So as you guys are seeing, I make a lot of regular types of meals that if you were an omnivore, you would also eat. I make tacos, pizza, pasta, burritos. I have like my favorite foods all the time, foods that a lot of people say are unhealthy, but I make them healthy by using whole grains and vegan meat that gets rid of a lot of the cholesterol and saturated fat. The vegan foods that I eat, they have more unsaturated fat, which are omega-3s, saturated fat or are omega-6s, and you want more omega-3s than omega-6s in your diet. So yeah, this is my vegan grocery haul of what I get when I go shopping. I hope it inspires you to go vegan or to just eat more plant-based in your diet. You don't have to be fully vegan. You can gradually transition or you can just help out the earth and the animals and your health by eating more plant-based. Obviously, I would love if you guys all went full vegan. It would help the environment so much, cut down global warming. It would save so many animals from being horrifically tortured and it would increase your lifespan. You'd be less likely to develop type two diabetes, heart disease, strokes, different types of cancer. So many things can be prevented by being vegan. And the documentaries I recommend if you want to know why I'm vegan are linked below. They are called Cowspiracy, Forks Over Knives, and Food Inc. So definitely go check those out. I highly recommend. Cowspiracy is free on YouTube. It talks about the environmental impact and the animals. And then Food Inc. is just about how food is produced, the animals, and all the antibiotics, and everything disgusting they put in the animals. And then Forks Over Knives is the health aspect of being vegan. So I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!